What is chi? Where does it come from? And how do we cultivate it in our bodies? Let's ask a Taoist priest from Wudang Mountain. Dai Jia Hao. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Taoist Gate Talks. My name is Rick Johansson, and we're here, as always, with Master Zhou Xuan Yun. Hey, everyone. Master Zhou is a Wudong Taoist priest living here in Boston. And with us today is also Henry Lee, hey. a licensed acupuncturist and herbalist. Yep. And the topic of today is qi. What is qi? So, to begin, what is qi? Um, okay, Henry, help me translate. Uh, mm -hmm. 那个气呢，它是一个抽象的一个形容的一种物质，就是说它看我们看不到，但是我们可以感觉到的这种物质。So qi, first and foremost, is kind of this abstract, almost descriptive, uh, uh, way of describing just everyday phenomena that we observe. Okay，我们再来讲这个，先从这个地球上。就是我们经常闻到的这种气，我们能感觉到的这种气，就地球上的这种气，我们所有的生命都需要这种气，这就是地球上的这种气。so, you know, let's first and foremost talk about qi that, you know, is just we experience here on Earth, just in our surroundings. It's, uh, um, you know, something you experience every day. So, this气的话，你看这种气，然后上升呢，就是太阳一晒，这个水它都变成气了。这个气呢，它一上升呢，它都变成云了，它是可以变化的。so, you know, for example, qi is a, it's not so easy a concept to grasp, but, you know, for example, it encompasses a lot of things. So just now, Steve was describing this idea of um, its ability to change. So something we can observe is the idea that, you know, the sun comes up and the qi of the sun um, will affect, you know, just the moisture in the air even. So, for example, you see water, moisture in the air. As time goes on, the, the qi of the sun, it makes it come up, condenses it, becomes clouds. 嗯，所以这个气一上，它变成云，但是就是要寒寒气和热气，它在中间一冲，它都有有别的这个冰包啊，有点不同的东西啊，都会出来。有的时候有冰包出来，有的时候会有闪电呐，有不同的东西都会出
地球可以养什么的东西，就可以种什么的东西、嗯。那我们自己身体怎么种气？因为比如说他们是种什么的玉米的，呃呃，什么的之类。那我们自己身体，我们怎么做？呃，怎么做的？怎么养的 That, ？That's what I said. Okay, <笑> okay. Okay. <笑> okay. 那个 nice. 对这个这个气呢？你说在我们的身体，就是说它的一个气来源于这个水，所以说它这个。地球上的这个气，它自然而然形成的。但是我们身上这个气，我们的这个生命，它和这个地球不一样。地球可能也有生命力，但是我们呢，能知道我们的生命力是多长时间。但是我们能知道我们的气，我们也因为我们在我们的身，我们可以就是，啊、呃，怎么说，来控制我们的这个气？怎么说控制我们的气？就是说，用你的这种想法，你的思想。然后来就是把你的气更捋顺，让你的气怎么走得顺，让你的性格会变得更好。嗯、mm, ，OK， 嗯、um, ，So I'm paraphrasing here a bit, but the idea is that you know, much in the same way that、uh, you know, we use the example of the world as kind of that parallel to our own body. So the key thing is, is that you know, now rather than、um, you know, in the in the world at large. Things happen kind of at the automatic process, you know. Let's not get into the discussion of if there's some grand control behind it, but the idea is is that first and foremost we have to recognize this is just a, a、um, analogy.、Hmm. So now, using that analogy to build up our own chi, first and foremost we have to sort of recognize the phenomena, recognize、hmm. that okay, so at the world at large. Things change, you know. It's water can become、uh, clouds can become steam. So that's the first thing when we do when we look at our own bodies. Take that as the first thing to grasp and say, I got to control this. The so-called water of my body, I've got to be able to take active control of、uh, turning it into mist, turning it into clouds. Hmm. That. So, 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 so 就是干净啊，比较好啊，就是经常啊，我们吃一点这种，就是这个食呃吃这个食物按这个时间来吃，就像早餐呐、啊、中餐呐、啊、晚餐呐、啊，所以说早餐吃的比较有营养，中餐吃的也比较好，所以晚餐呢少吃一点，这样的话对我们身体的这个气啊、呃、都会运行的非常好。So you know, first and foremost, in terms of controlling our own chi, is diet.、Mm -hmm. You know, you've got to make sure that you're eating clean and you're eating,、um, you know,、uh, nutritious materials. So adding in my own thoughts here, just the idea of, you know, you got to eat something that's nutritious but doesn't really have a lot of junk attached to it. So I guess going back to the example of the of、uh, how our bodies reflect the Earth. You know, if I'm throwing a bunch of toxic sludge into the oceans,、uh, you tell me what happens. We're probably gonna get acid rain and all sorts of disasters. So we can't be just throwing junk food in our own body. It's kind of like throwing toxic sludge. Yeah. So you know, and eating regularly is a big thing too. 对，所以在另外一个方面就是讲，你这个寒冷，这个比较冷啊，有的时候比较热啊，都会影响到我们的气的一种运行。哦、oh.。就像这个闪，就像我们刚才之前讲的这个啊、呃，雷电嘛，闪电怎么形成？就是冷热它形成。但我们身体它好冷热，一冷一热，它会变，就是让你的身体变得有的时候让你性格变得就是很急啊，或者不好，有的时候就是让你生病。嗯，对不对？ Okay. 对。So then, you know, other things are just the environment itself. It's、uh, so just now we were talking about、uh, how chi can manifest in different ways.、Uh, if we're looking at cold temperatures or hot temperatures, you know, it could be if it's cold, you get hail. If it becomes hot, you know, it becomes humidity in the air. So how the temperature affects your body, you know, even something as simple as、um, the way you dress and how that interacts with your body. If you get cold or if you're very hot,、um, you can look at the the food, the the hot. 呃，寒热也关于一点点，最主要是我们外面这个空气的这种影响。Uh, okay. So in the, in this context, talking more about just the outside weather. So you know, if I'm if I'm outside, it's chilly. If I don't have a, that, a good jacket on, it's going to freeze things up in my own body and freeze up that chi. 对，所以说这个食物上面它也影响，就是很热的食物，等还得吃很冷的食物。所以在你肠子这个呃胃部啊，在这个里面呢，形成这种气也不好，就是说有的时候肚子会不舒服啊。Okay, so then also you know the foods that we eat. So like having a bunch of ice cream, for example, that's gonna make it inside cold. If I have a ton of spicy food, or even just like hot, hot food, like a hot soup, it's gonna、uh, affect the inside of me as well. So affecting that、um, core temperature. 嗯，还有一个气候的影响，你看到没？就是说冷的地方的人，怎么经常会，就是说
冷，就是像这个东北的人呢、啊，经常。所以你到南方的人呢，他的气候就不怎么变的地方，所以那个人都会很平和。哦、oh, 嗯，有意思。这个没有。Huh, I didn't thought of that. So you know the idea that、um, mm. even just looking at、uh, folks living in certain、um, t-、uh, temperatures or certain、uh, environments, excuse、mm. me.、Um, so example,、uh, you know, here in Boston, we are kind of known as being a sort of Colder sort of people, not so friendly,、mm. and you know something I hadn't thought about、mm. is that here in the Northeast, the w- temperatures tend to be co-、uh, colder, so it affects the sort of、um, uh, environment. It affects、uh, affects our chi, makes us sort of a、uh, um, not so warm people, emotionally speaking. And then,、um, if you look at someone on the West Coast, California, they tend to be more friendly because the weather is more warm, keeps the chi running in their body very well. So you know they're a little more even tempered. 嗯，所以说在我们就是说平常哎怎么样的，就是让你身体经常保持暖，然后让你的心情经常保持着好，所以你的气啊都会流流的比较顺。Oh, okay. So here's a, here's where we're getting back to your question: is you know something?、Uh, step one, you know, we'll get something like basic temperature control. Try to keep yourself nice and warm. You know, basically stay close to that ninety eight point six degrees of your body. If you're always always cold all the time, it's going to start affecting you on a personality level, on a、uh, health level, so on and so forth. Yeah, well, that actually makes me think too. If so, we all age, can't get around it. But you see kids running around; they have so much energy. They're so just full of of life. And then as we go through other stages of life, we it, it I almost feel like our bodies change. The way we process energy changes. So like, how does age affect chi in a person? Hmm. Okay. 在我们来讲的话啊，就是说人呢，就是这个气啊，一般到十六到十八岁，就小孩子这个阳气是最盛的。他们是阳气，刚生生生到十八岁以后，我们这个人的这个阳气啊，都会慢慢的往下。所以人到老了以后，这个气啊，它都会很弱，所以人会经常没有力。Hmm. Okay. So basically, you know, chi can be divided into two things that、uh, two um、uh, halves that、uh, most folks are familiar with: the yin and the yang. So you know, yang chi is、uh, we typically associate it with energetic. So you know exactly what you're talking about: very energetic young folk. So for instance, so what Su Fu saying is generally about the age of 16 to 18 years old, young folks, the yang chi is very prevalent. It's It's always on the on the rise,、um, and so what happens is is that the chi will actually change in the sense that yang chi or this sort of、um, very energetic, very、um, lively chi starts to diminish as we get older. Uh, 在什么时呃你呃你对你呃对你来说是几岁开始？就是十八岁以后，他的气都开始慢慢的下。Oh, so no, no, no. Okay, so、uh, excuse me, I misunderstood that. It's about eighteen is when it's at its tops, and then from that point on, it starts diminishing bit by bit by bit as we get older. So the chi, the yang chi, sort of uh, uh, tops off and tapers off at that point. And what that is is that you're getting less and less of the yang chi over time, and that's where we're starting to see your know, loss of energy as you get older. How do you how do you stop that or how 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 do you handle that? This 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 is 没办法，最后就是我们之前讲了，就是说你要去。这个是不可能的，就是我们人这个是这个规律，就像太阳升出来，它必须要就是随着地球的转，它必须要这个转到另一面，就是这个月月亮然后升起来，这是没办法的，它是人身体的一个像这个地球一样，它是一个循环的，就是说。Okay. So part of it is is that we just have to accept the fact that aging gracefully is a part of the equation.、Yeah. The idea that you know, no matter what, it's as you get older, a younger individual is just going to have more energy than an older individual. So you know, we're talking about something that it's like the、uh, course of the day. The sun's got to go down eventually. So you know, in that regard, there's not much that can be done.、Uh, no. So this is not possible. We just have to. 就就是平时就是我们的吃的食物好一点，然后经常锻炼，然后把我们这个气啊，就是另外就是这个气啊，就是锻的锻炼的比较好一点，就是让自己这个经常不累。嗯，因为 OK。OK， 呃，其实这是不是呃，因为这没办法的，它一直会阳气越来越少的，所以吃好的呃呃运动的，这是不是一个办法让这的拉长的时间？对对。OK， so you know in that regard， if there's nothing to be done about it， eighteen years old and so forth， it just diminishes。The only thing we can do is to sort of prolong how long that um 
uh, maximum amount of yang qi that we're allotted in life, how long can we go, uh, stretch out that time mm. essentially? So, you know, eating well, mm-hmm. the exercise, so on and so forth. So, in this way, we have a lot of practice in the qi, so we have a lot of qi. So, in our body, we have a lot of qi, it has 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 a lot of qi, 那个人呢，人到老了以后啊，他们就感觉那个气啊，就呼吸都觉得有点累，就是他们这个中气不旺啊， oh. 就里面这个肺部气不旺。OK， 所以这就是锻炼气，是这就是讲气功，是不是？啊，对，讲到这个气功的。Oh, OK， so yeah， you know， another way of stretching out the time is， you know， uh， essentially practicing controlling your qi， so things such as qi gong， and you know， qi gong， one thing that Sid was mentioning is a huge component of the qi， um， intrinsic to the body is just simple breathing， oxygen， you know， it's a common phenomenon you might see with older folks is they have difficulty breathing。So clearly, they haven't practiced how to really preserve and nurture that qi. They they can't even breathe anymore. But with something like qigong, we can start nurturing that and make it something that we have direct control over. 对你像我们这个尾气，就是我们这个汗毛孔啊。我们刚才气另外分一种叫尾气，就是掌握我们这个汗毛孔啊。我们外面有一层气，就是有的时候我们的出汗呐、啊，什么一类东西，冷啊、热呀、啊，我们是能感受到，都是我们这个尾气，就是我们是外面这个皮肤啊这种。感觉到这种东西，所以这时候呢，就是说，如果我们就是说身体不健康，这个气它都会弱，都会弱的话，就是人很容易生病，很容易冷，会很容易热。Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now we're getting onto the topic of the different types of qi in the body. So just now, Sue was talking about so-called gathering qi,、uh, the qi that we most commonly see associated with air. Now, you know, another thing we're talking about is so-called defensive qi, wei qi. You know, the qi that sits just underneath the layer of the skin,、um, according to Taoist thought. It kind of acts as your first layer of defense, your shield.、Um, you know, typically in Western in Western thought, we think of it as our immune system. So you know, practicing the qi gong and then.、Um, Uh, tonifying, boosting this function is a way that we can also make sure that the body is safe. You know, make your immune system stronger through the qigong practice. You know, you know, ah, also, when people get old, they have another problem. That is, our immune system is also a problem. The immune system is also a problem. We call it the qi. The qi in the qi is not good. So, people often get sick in the qi. For us, because the qi is not good, it leads to sickness. It leads to diseases. It leads to diseases. It leads to diseases. It leads to diseases. 嗯，内脏里面的病都会出来，这就是它阴气啊，就在里面那个气走的不好。就是那阴阳的阴是不是？啊、呃，营对，营是在里面的营气。对，所以这大部分都是跟那呃关于那的呃阴呃那的食物是不是？啊、呃，这也不算，它营气是另外一种气，在这个肠里面呢，我们气有尾气、营气，我们之前说的中气，对，还有一个元气。Okay, so、um, now we're talking about another type of qi, the so-called nutritive qi of the body.、Um, you know, just、uh, so just now we're talking about immune system. We're talking about just、uh, oxygen in the body. Now, so the so-called nutritive qi, just the qi that、um, essentially powers and uh, uh, keeps healthy our internal organs. You know, the inside of the body as well. 所以说，我们还有一个，就是我们之前说那个元气，那个元气呢，就是说，我们刚才长到一定的时候，那个元气都会慢慢的下来，就是说，长到那个十八岁、十六岁、十八岁以后，这个气都开始下来。所以那个元气，这个气呢，其实一部分是父母给你的，就是你在父母身体里面呢，形成，就是你出生的时候已经带了。Mm-hmm. 所以这个就有点像那个基因一样，你身体的这种基因有点这种形式的。Okay. And then, you know, finally, another qi that we need, want to talk about is the so-called original qi,、um, and this is the qi that we inherited from mom and dad.、Mm. So, as you know, I think it's sort of common knowledge. Folks want to say, "Hey, if you're going to have a kid,、uh, make sure both parents are healthy." And this is the idea that because you're conferring this so-called original qi onto your child,、mm. so this, you know, Su was saying, it's kind of it's similar to just genetics at a basic level.、Mm. Saying, you know, you could you could translate it as genetics、mm. and、uh, basically what mom and dad gave you. Yeah, 这个气呢，就是说在我们的肾里面，因为你这个形成的时候是你父亲的这个肾，然后到你，然后这个里面形成的这种气，所以在我们呢，我们肾里面也有这种气，就是这个气可以给生命的。就是我，就我们的这个气，这为元气，就在肾里面的这个气。Okay, and then so another concept that、uh, comes from the Taoist thought is the idea that this original qi is actually resides within our kidneys. 
So, you know, it's that idea that, okay, mom and dad's chi combines, and now this uh, mixed up chi that is conferred from them to us resides in our chi, and then henceforth that our own um, original chi will be conferred onto our children, so on and so forth, goes on forever. Mm-hmm. You're speaking to me because, you know, I have a baby on the way, so ah, got some original go. chi okay. coming, coming soon. <laughs> and, um, but speaking of that, we are actually out of time for the rest of the today. This mm-hmm. is the big topic, chi, so I'm sure we'll address it in further episodes. Um, and if you do have questions, you can add a question in the comments below, and we'll see if we can get to that. So with that... Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching our video. If you like what you see, then please hit subscribe on our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook and Twitter. And if there's a question you'd like to have us address, throw it in the comments below. Thank you everyone, good night. Zai Jian.